Hi guys, it's Cassie with Harlow's Earth, and today we're gonna to be talking about what you need for your home birth kit. So I have had the experience of having a hospital birth with my first baby, and the second one at a birthing center, and then the last one at a home. So I've had kind of a lot of experience, and so, Hopefully these tips can help you. Here are the 20 things that you need to have prepared and ready for your home birth. First thing, you need some old sheets. I'd recommend two sets so that you can cover up your bed. You can, likely you're gonna be wanting to hang out in there, so have a set and have another set that, cause they will get dirty. Number two, you need a plastic sheet. Put that underneath your old sheets because that way you don't have that like crinkling, very hospital feel on top of them. So lay down a plastic sheet, put your old sheets on top. Number three, since we're on the topic of linens, you need towels. Do about four or five towels. Make sure that you're running them on the highest setting in your dryer so that they can be super sterile and nice. Put them in a plastic bag and get them ready so that they are handy and ready. You can use them during your birth for cleaning the baby afterwards, for cleaning all kinds of things. Number four, you need washcloths. I'd recommend at least eight or 10 washcloths and a crock pot. The crock pot was the most wonderful thing because we kept a bunch of the washcloths in the crock pot on a nice warm heat and then that could be used on your perineum during labor. It was amazing. So I really recommend the crock pot and some washcloths and then you will need more washcloths for helping clean up baby um, afterwards once you get to meet them. And of course, you also need a couple of bins. I'd recommend two, one for waste and one for all of your linens. If you need an extra bin just in case you feel sick. Lots of people throw up while they are <laughs> while they're in labor. It happens, so make sure that you're ready and you have that on standby. Write down a list of emergency contacts. So you wanna have your midwife, doula, birth partner, whomever. You want all those phone numbers there and you want them ready for anybody who's going to need them. Also somebody, if there's, you know, you have a pet at home who needs to be watched while you possibly need to go to the hospital or for your, if you have children at home, you need a contact so that they can come to the house in case you need to go to the hospital because that can happen. That's part of a home birth. You have to be ready for in case. Likely it's going to go great. Majority of home births do go wonderful, but you have to be ready for the just in case. This brings me to the point of a hospital bag. Even though you're having a home birth, you still need to have your hospital bag ready. Clothes for you, clothes for baby, swaddle blankets, make sure your car seat's installed. You need swaddle blankets for baby. Have at least two and make sure that again you've put them on the dryer at the highest setting. They've already been pre-washed and they're ready for baby for you to receive them. Mm. Baby clothes. Your baby can stay in a swaddle blanket and naked as long as you like but at some point you may want to get them dressed and so make sure you have your little you know kimono or onesie or whatever you're going to use. Certainly a hat even if they're swaddle they're going to need a hat. They've been in your womb at this constant nice temperature and now they're out in the world. So baby hat, baby socks or booties, a container for the placenta. If you're planning to keep it, then you'll be able to prepare it to make yourself some dehydrated little happy pills or whatever else you maybe want to plant a tree with the placenta. There's all kinds of wonderful rituals involved with it. Music more hypnobirthing discs. You know, whatever it is, it's going to bring you some happiness, some joy, some strength. Get your music ready. Number 13 is a bag of ice, crushed ice. Crushed ice is so lovely during labor. <laughs> it can taste so good. It can be just something just to get your mind off of everything, have something different. A bag of crushed ice is great. Number 14 is a birthing ball. You've probably already been using it during your pregnancy and they're just super comfy and when you bounce around on it, it's just kind of helps you get through a lot of those intense contractions. It's just a great tool. Number 15 is food and drinks, things to re-energize you. So your favorite things to kind of munch on, maybe it's a granola bar, lots of fruit, veggies, fruit juices, 
things to give you the electrolytes and things to help push you through. Number 16 is optional, but if you're looking to have a birthing pool, then make sure that you have all of the things ready for that. So a plastic sheet down on the floor, the birthing tub, um, a, you know, make sure that it's sanitized, a thermometer for the water temperature, make sure you have all that covered. Number 17, olive oil. It's great for, for stretching out your perineum before um, and during labor. It can be really great for just kind of softening everything and um, getting it ready for pushing. Number 18, along those lines of pushing, Arnica is extremely amazing for helping relieve that really intense pain while you're pushing. So your midwife can help splash it on your perineum while you're in, while you're in the pushing phase. And it is really, really helpful. Number 19 is pads. You're gonna need them, girl, after you have this baby. So some of the pads I soaked in witch hazel and put them in the freezer, and that was like wonderful welcome relief for many a days after. Um, also, you're gonna just need mini pads. So make sure you get um, heavy flow, super heavy flow, and then you can have multiple sizes for later on in the weeks. And finally, you need one of those little Perry squish bottles that help when you need to pee afterwards because likely you may tear. I know I tore, I think, with all three of my kids. So, you know, that extra bottle that you just fill with warm water that you can use while you're peeing is the best helpful relief so it's not so stingy. So that's a really, really wise, valuable tool. Now, of course, there's a lot of other things that you may need for your home birth, but I, most likely if you have a midwife helping you, they are bringing all of the other tools, that, the more medical grade tools that you'll need, you know, a clamp for, with the umbilical cord and a sharp pair of sterilized scissors, gloves, alcohol, not that type of alcohol. <laughs> um, so they will usually be bringing all of the, the other things for you. So you're making sure that your space is ready and ready for them ready for you and ready for the baby. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.